Hey everyone, this is Jacob from CoreWeave. Today I'm gonna to be showing you uh, how to deploy some applications on CoreWeave. So we're gonna take a look at the ways we can trigger auto-scaling and, and functionally the work you have to do in order to scale your workloads up and down inside of Deadline on CoreWeave. And in reality, there's really not a whole lot you have to do and that's the beauty of it. So what I'm gonna show you is just a quick example. Let's say I'm in deadline here. Here I have a, you know, an empty monitor. I have no workers or anything like that. And I'm just gonna go and submit a job from here from the monitor. In this case, I'll submit a Cinema 4D job. And I'll get my normal user interface, call it something fun, maybe not so fun. <laughs> and then I have to select a few extra items here. I have a pool and a group, and these uh, properties here can be used to drive your auto-scaling relationships. And so, for example, you could say, I want to render up to 50 workers uh, for any job that's submitted to the VFX pool or any other pool you set up, all right? And in this case, the way we have it organized and the way we have it or organized for most people uh, is that we drive auto-scaling usually using these groups here. And as you'll see, if I hit this drop down, I have a bunch of different options for hardware types that I can use to render my job. And they're just labeled as such. So it's C4D Arnold, and then the name of a specific compute type that we've set up in the background. And these will be set up for you when we uh, give you your deadline instances. If you're managing them yourself and using Helm uh, and deploying with your own values files, these can be defined super easily. And can also be, those same files can be used to adjust all the scaling relationships that I'm referencing here, all right? In this case, I'm just gonna select here at the top the uh, C4D Arnold Epic that runs on our new Epic CPUs. Uh, and uh, everything else I'm gonna leave exactly as it is. I can specify my frame list. Uh, and of course, the C4D file I'll be rendering with. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit submit. Uh, and when that happens, of course, you can upload the job. And what you'll see is that very quickly here, we're going to get a bunch of workers popping up uh, down here below. Usually these scaling times are anywhere from 5 to about 30 seconds. Sometimes it can be a little higher if you haven't used a group uh, in a long time. Uh, we cache uh, Docker images, all the containerized images we use for rendering, we cache those on our, uh, on our nodes. And so on your first, uh, your first time submitting to a group might take a little extra uh, time. But here we should see it pretty quick. There we go. We got some workers popping up. And what we should see is that we should get workers essentially for every task here. We got 20 frames. Uh, so we should get about 20 workers popping up down here. And you see they'll come online pretty quickly. There we go. They're going to keep coming online at a pretty steady rate here. And again, all of this is managed totally behind the scenes. Uh, we have some special services we've written to allow you, uh, again, to adjust these scaling relationships and then be totally hands off in the process from then on out. You can also control your scaling with limits uh, inside the deadline interface. And I'll show you that in one moment. All right, now that we have some workers, let's show you how easy it is to clean up after you're done. So let's say this job finishes. I'm just gonna manually complete the job for now. Once the job is finished, it's gonna go ahead and spin all of these workers down. And you'll see it, they'll just get cleaned up for us easily. And so you never have to manage, you know, spinning up your own workers, you don't have to manage shutting them down and deleting them. You get the compute you need when you need it, and when you no longer need it, it'll just spin itself down and disappear. So like I mentioned, you can also manage the limits you have on scaling using Deadline's own limits. And that's pretty easily done. You simply create a limit inside of Deadline. Here I've created one and you see it's called the same uh, as my group, just uh, for ease of use here. And I've gone ahead and inside of the properties, just set the resource count to whatever I want the maximum number of workers uh, to be when my uh, deployments scale up, all right? Behind the scenes, then, this the name of this limit is added to your values files for your Helm deployment. Again, if you aren't using Helm uh, or you have CoreWeave assisting you with the deployment of your managed deadline solution, that's fine. Just uh, most of this will probably be created for you automatically. All right. 
So with my limit set up, and again the limit count set to 10, let's submit the same job and see how the behavior changes. So I'm going to go back and submit the same job. So just going up to submit, select C4D, and again, haven't changed anything here. You see the frame list is still 1 to 20. All right, and just hit submit. So now, with our 20 frames, we should see just 10 workers fit up. There we go. So now we got 10 workers. And we should see, we shouldn't get any more scale than that. And they should just go ahead and start rendering. So using limits and using uh, the deployments that we've created for you, or you might be managing yourself, you can very easily manage the scale and flexibility of your fleet. So that's really all there is to it. Auto scaling with deadline takes all the burden of managing the scale of your infrastructure off of you. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to CoreWeave at support.vfx at coreweave.com or check out our site and our documentation.